In Coventry, the wounds of war have healed. The city of history has become a new city. It suffered more than any other English town, but has made amazing recovery. New estates have sprung up, new families are growing. But over these families, there hangs a new threat, the menace of polio. Whitley Hospital is a frontline fighter against the outbreak, which many believe is caused, or at least aggravated, by the network of dirty waterways which surround the city. The River So is one of the worst, and though no official ruling has been given, Coventry parents have taken matters into their own hands and banned their children from bathing here, lest they too should fall victim to the scourge, which has placed others, like six-year-old Maureen Allen, in the Whitley Hospital's iron lung. Up to going to press, 85 people of Coventry have been stricken by the outbreak. In nearby towns, doctors are among the sufferers. But British factories are pressing ahead with a new anti-polio vaccine. And there is every hope that before many years, polio will be a thing of the past. geht es gegen das Zentrum der englischen Rüstungsindustrie. Das Ziel heißt Coventry. Es gilt, Vergeltung zu üben für den Angriff der englischen Flieger auf nicht-militärische Ziele in München. Die englische Flagge ist auf dem Posten. Ein wahrer Feuerhagel prasselt uns entgegen. Aber ungehindert geht es weiter. Coventry. Der Bombenschütze löst die ersten Bomben. Unten ist bereits die erste Wirkung zu erkennen. Die Brände werden immer zahlreicher und das ist erst der Anfang. Immer neue Einschläge blitzen auf. Über 500.000 Kilogramm Bomben wurden in einer einzigen Nacht über Coventry abgeworfen. Führende amerikanische Blätter schrieben, Coventry sei dem Erdboden gleich gemacht worden. Mr. Churchill aber faselt immer noch von der Unbezwingbarkeit seiner Royal Air Force. This item is for those of you who are living and fighting in strange lands under exacting conditions. For those of you who are away from home. Once in a while, we're bringing you a message from a hometown. Perhaps it's your hometown.
It may be London, Glasgow, Bristol, or it may be Coventry. This is our Douglas speaking for the people of Coventry, for folks like Jack Clifford, Bert Barford and Joe Miller. Coventry is just as busy as ever it was. You can hear the factories buzzing for miles around. Trucks and transport for the army and aero engines for you chaps in the RAF. But at the same time we're thinking of making other things. Things not connected with war. Mind you, no chromium plate or other trimmings, but civvy stuff all the same. Getting home seems to be even more of a drama than ever. It's just queue and wait, or walk, <laughs> but not for me. But all the way from Umber Road to Fallsill, not likely. Yes, it's cue for everything these days. You should hear the missus. Points and perseverance, that's what she says. But don't get the wrong idea. We're not starving, far from it. Things are a bit short sometimes, admittedly. But they can be got. We do all right. Bit rough at the locals, though. One night they're open and the next... Well, you've just had it. By the way, there's one thing that has come back again. I don't think the younger kids quite make it out, but I noticed they put it back all the same. Remember how the market got pranged during the Blitz? Well, it's going again like fun. Anything from bicycles to braces. Old Joe's still there with his camp. Oh yes, and Prince Gypsy Lee still tells you how many kids you're going to have. The buses don't run very late these days, so folks don't go far for their pleasure. But the cinemas and theatres are doing a good trade. Of course, a ninepenny worth of dark costs you half a crown now. But if the weather's fine, well, the boys and girls go down to the bunny run and look at each other. Or oh, there's cricket in Umber Road, or tennis in Memorial Park. Some of your folks were there last week, and RAF do. Interstation sports meeting. Then, of course, there's the dogs. Same old faces passing the odds, same old faces taking your money too. And same old dog coming in last. That's Coventry today. A bit bashed, but Coventry all the same. Yes, a lot went by the board these last few years. A lot of things we liked to. But we're getting down to a job of planning and working out something bigger. Something bigger and an old lot better. It's going to mean a lot of hard work for all of us, but as you know, Coventry's always been a town of people that thrive on hard work. Same old Coventry and we're going to turn it into a brand new Coventry. So get the thing over, chaps, and come back and help us.